All right, so you're actually going to be doing an activity today um, using your knowledge of slope, uh, playing a game based on where in the world is Carmen San Diego, where you're trying to track down a villain. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and enter my name. And then I'm going to go to the next screen. And this one tells me that the caper starts in Beijing. So I'm going to travel there. We can see our plane headed that direction. And then when you get to each location, there's a slider down here. And what that slider allows you to do is actually to travel to different locations and actually get some clues to tell you where to go to next. So it might tell you something about a place in the world, or it could tell you something about the slope that will be formed on the map when you look at the map on the next screen. And there will also be something about the suspect. And this is important because um, your goal is to try to figure out who the suspect is as you chase them around the world. And it's going to be different from everybody. It's randomly picked, so you've got to play careful attention. Um, and so once I kind of look through the clues, negative slope, okay, I know some place to look in the world, um, I will go to the map screen and I will try to compute the slope so I can travel to that location. Um, so I know it's a negative slope, so I can probably eliminate these. If I wanted to, I could Google the place in the world to try to give me some idea of where to be searching. Um, but... I think I need to go here, and so I'm going to use these coordinates to compute my slope. So uh, Beijing is at 11.4, Port Moresby is at 15, negative 6. And so if I go y2 minus y1, I might want to make sure and put parentheses, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, you can see the line is formed. Now. That doesn't mean I've chosen the right location. That just means I've put the slope in correctly. Um, I could do the same thing if I tried another point. Um, for example, if I did 9 minus 4 over 0 minus 11. And you notice the line formed here. Uh, like I said, it, that just tells me I've, I've put the slope form or I've used the slope form correctly. And so negative 6 minus 4 parentheses divided by 15 minus 11. So I think that's where I need to go. I'm gonna hit the travel button and you can see your plane actually travels to that location. And once you've done that, you head to the next screen. And when you get to each screen like this, you need to check to make sure you're on the right track. Because if not, you'll have to go back. And then if you're on the right track, a villain will appear across the screen and it'll tell you, you're on the right track. And so now I'll repeat the process. I'll kind of look through the clues I'll get some more information about the suspect I'm trying to track down and, and some more information about where in the world to look. And I'll use these on the next map. And why this is important, like I said before, is at the very end of the game, of course, you can't skip ahead. But when you get to the end, you'll have to determine the correct suspect using the clues. And there's all sorts of different suspects to look through. And based on the clues that you've gathered, your goal is to guess the right suspect at the very end.